all viewers of my channel. My long-time dream is to gain 1,000 subscribers. I hope that you can help make this little dream come true. I will be incredibly grateful to you. Enjoy your viewing, and I will continue to delight you with fresh videos every day. Your girl got the big bag, so let's do a big haul. Okay, the real tea is it was $500, but it's really not that much stuff. Okay, let's start off with hair. I got this Color Wow set. I love Color Wow. I haven't tried these specific products, but this mask is supposed to be amazing, and this whole set was the same as the price of the mask individually, so like, girl math, the set is pretty much free. Okay, and then I got a jumbo size Charlotte setting spray because I go through these like crazy. This one's almost done. This is the jumbo, this is the regular size. And I got 20% off, so why not? This is the best, makes your makeup last forever, doesn't make you super matte, I just love it. Then I got these, which I already broke into last night. I love these. If you deal with skin texture or big pores, these are your best friend, girl. These are the peel pads by Dr. Dennis Gross. These are the best, seriously, holy grail. And I should also say this is the holiday peel ball and it's like such a good deal. You save like $100 or more. I also ordered online the Colorwell Dream Coat. They were out of it in stores. There's a set for holidays, I got that. Then I got the new Tower 28 concealer. I have yet to try this. I got 2.8, no, 2.0. It's a serum concealer, I've heard really good things. And last but not least, I got two Westman Atelier products. One is the Illuminator and one is the Skin Tint. I tried the Illuminator today. I actually filmed the first impressions and comparing it to the Say one, so that will be up soon. Let me know if you want to see that. And that's it for now. I'm sure there'll be more. Hi besties, I went shopping at Sephora today during the Sephora sale and I have a little haul. I'm so excited about all the things that I got. Let's get right into it. Okay, first thing that I already opened, I got one of these hand sanitizers because they're just like cutie and it's pink. Um, but I don't like the smell of it. <laughs> yeah. It smells like Mike's Hard Lemonade and Lush Bath Bombs, but it's fine. It's cute. So whatever. That was very impulsive. Um, next, I got a restock on the Face Better Than Waterproof Mascara because it's my favorite. I got, a <laughs> I got a restock because mine's like drying out, so... It was time for a refresh. I also got another refresh of the Watermelon Glow Dew Drops from Glow Recipe. These are my favorite. Just like love to use these to prep my skin for makeup because it makes it so glowy and dewy and hydrated. Got a little restock of that. Okay, then another restock product is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. As much as like the e.l.f. is a dupe and it is very pretty, I just think that the Charlotte Tilbury has like, oh shoot, I just ripped it. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury has a certain glow to it that's just like so beautiful. Decided to get that like during the sale since it would save me a little bit of money. Okay, then I also got a rare beauty highlighter for my best friend for her birthday in the shade Exhilarate. So, is also what I got. But, new product. I've been wanting to try the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit because I've heard good things about it. So, I'm excited to try that. I'm gonna have to do a full face of like all my products. The new product, the last product. I'm so excited about this. I've never tried an hourglass product. Ambient bronzer, a bronze light. I've just been wanting like a shimmery bronzer because like I, you guys know I love dewy, glowy makeup. So, I'm so excited to try that. The packaging is so luxe. I know, so I'll probably go shopping again. <laughs> yeah, that's everything that I got from the Sephora sale. Thanks for watching. Bye. I went ham at the Sephora sale and who wants a haul? Okay, let me show you everything that I got. I'm super excited. I did place one order for pickup and then in store I just went in and I was just going to pick up my order, but... This is the thing I think I'm most excited for. This is the Refi Red Kit. It comes with the lip sculpt in red and then the tinted lip gloss and then the cream blush in cherry. I love wearing a red lip, but I don't normally wear it that often because I feel like it gets messy and then I'm just like uh, when I eat and drink and stuff, especially for the holidays. And this comes with their like setter. So it's supposed to make the like lip liner stay. And then with that beautiful like gloss, I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. And on brown skin, it's just gonna look at me from my besties at Ceremonia. I've been wanting to try their products for a really long time. And this is the deep conditioning hair mask. I, I don't know, my hair like needs some help. Even though I got a haircut, my ends are always like super dry. So I'm super excited to try this and I think it's gonna be really good. Next, continuing with the lip kits. I was so torn in between this one and then the like, three one the summer fridays one but i went with this one because i just thought the shades were really cute and then also i like love the vanilla beige one and the other one didn't have it had the more like coffee one that i thought is like still cute but i think i love this one more and i really wanted to try just like the other brown sugar one and then it comes with the vanilla and the poppy and then i also thought i was like i'm already getting the refi red kit you know with that gloss it's like I know it's like more of a daily one, but anyway, that was my logic. 
And then for like little things, I got two Sephora mini mascaras. They're my favorite ever. And then a Sephora Velour makeup face puff. I really want to try this with my setting powder, but I got two because I'm giving one to my mommy. And then, okay, I didn't go that ham, I guess, but kind of. Um, it was just too good of a sale and I'll let you know when I'm purchasing anything more. But love you guys. I don't know if I've ever gotten a bag this big, but let's do a little haul about what I got from the Sephora sale. Like a lot of people, I like to use the sale as a time to do some restocks, but also try out new things that I've been meaning to try. So I do have four repurchases and I think nine new items. That being said, I only know that these new items were recommended to me, but I don't know if I recommend them yet. So if you want updates on any of these, let me know. Starting off with the repurchases, I got another Laneige lip sleeping mask. I currently have the pink one. I've heard great things about the purple one. Also the taste and the smell of this. I can't wait to try it. I literally cannot sleep without it. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I think it's Ule Hendrickson. Regardless, this is the Pal Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. I am obsessed with this. I do love a Summer Fridays. I obviously love Laneige, but this I think takes the cake for me as far as like glossy lips. This one is tinted. I do have the clear one and I love her, but I needed to try this. This tinted one I feel like when I have like my tinted moisturizer on this is gonna look so good love already my third repurchase was the makeup forever lip pencil I talked about this in a video the other day and I need it I should have bought many more of these because I'm obsessed with this and then finally for repurchases I got the Giorgio Armani luminous silk I used this years ago and I loved it I'm in the market for a new foundation so I decided to pick this one up I got shade match day and I'm super excited about that because a lot of my foundations right now are too dark for me because there are my summer colors. So I'm super excited to have a foundation that matches me. Okay, rapid fire what I got that I have not tried yet. Again, let me know if you want an update on any of these. I got two hourglass brushes. I did the ambient soft glow foundation brush and then also this concealer brush. I've never had a concealer brush, so I'm super excited and I've heard amazing things about hourglass. Got the Caudalie Vino Perfect. I actually have tried a sample of this and I loved it and I just kind of forgot. I'm excited to give this an actual shot on my skin. I've heard obviously great things. Then I got this Kiehl's Facial Essence. I've never had a facial essence. I need to do some research on what order to put all these skincare steps in. So if anyone has any tips, but basically this is just another liquid to pat into the skin. Excited about that. I got the Patrick Tom Major Sculpt in the shade She Sculpted. I love every product I've ever had from him. So I know that I'm gonna love this one. Another product from Ule Hendrickson, I got the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I have seen people use this on TikTok and it literally looks like it melts in the skin. Again, super excited. Never heard of this brand and then I was doing a little research on TikTok about what I should get skincare wise from the Sephora sale. This is Shawnee Darden. I don't know, that's probably so wrong. Shaney, Shane, I don't know. Don't come for me, I am so bad at pronouncing names. But I did get the Triple Acid Signature Peel this is apparently a resurfacing, brightening, and refining mask. There are, I think, eight treatments in here. A little nervous because I have very sensitive skin, but I guess I'll never know unless I try. So let me know if you want an update or a before and after with these. I also picked out this retinol reform. Apparently, this is a like beginner retinol. I need to do way more research on retinol before I start using this. I don't know what I should put on before, after, yada, yada, yada. So any retinol tips, let me know. I do know that I should only use it like one to two nights a week. I'm going to start with one night and see if it does anything for my skin. I've been having a few breakouts recently and I don't know if it's just hormones or what's going on, but I am excited to see if any of this changes my skin. And then finally, I blind purchased this perfume because they didn't have it in store. I've heard that it smells like a ski lodge, whatever the heck that means, I'm not sure. But that does scream obviously winter to me and we are entering those months, unfortunately. And if there's one thing about me, I will always pick up a new scent from the Sephora sale and this is what I picked this time. I'm hoping it comes before the sale ends. So just in case I don't like it, I can return it and get a new one. But that's a problem for another day. Anyway, that is all that I got. I think I spent way too much money. I don't even want to talk about it. But let me know what you guys picked up. What are your must-have repurchases? And also let me know some new things that you guys are trying because I would love to browse some more even though I probably don't need to. Okay, have a good night. Bye. Giant Sephora sale order came. Let's do an unboxing and I'll tell you everything I got. So obviously I did not plan on filming. I'm literally in my pajamas, but this came a day early and I am just so excited to open it that we had to do it right now. The Sephora sale is now through November 6th. It's open right now if you're VIB Rouge, which gets you 20% off. If you're regular VIB, you'll get 15% off. And then if you're Beauty Insider, you'll get 10% off. And it opens for VIB and Beauty Insider in a few days. So I normally hold off on purchasing literally anything from Sephora until it's one of these sales and then I'll just stock up on all the stuff that I use all the time or have been wanting to try 
to get it on sale. So we will do the restocks of products that I've been using literally for years and love and just wanted to stock up on. So this is from the Inky List. This is the caffeine eye cream. This is literally like 12 bucks. I'll put the price on the screen and it's better than any of the expensive ones that I've ever tried. I am the biggest Glow Recipe fan. I've posted about Glow Recipe all the time and I use their Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic Serum every single night. Um, this helps me not break out and if I am breaking out, it kind of prevents it from getting worse. Then the sunscreen that I use is also from Glow Recipe. I wear sunscreen every single day and this is the only one that doesn't break me out. It's not greasy. It doesn't leave a white cast and I do use this in the summer as well or on vacation when I'm on the beach and like actually in the direct sun, it's that good that I won't get sunburned. I used to literally get sun poisoning every time I would go out in the sun that I'd have to get cortisone shots at the dermatologist. So my skin has been through it with the sun damage and now I'm super particular about wearing sunscreen every single day. Bought another one of the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. This is the Good Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in the shade Good Energy. I bought this last time during the Sephora sale instead of the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand and I ended up liking it so much more so I wanted to get another one while it's on sale. It is this perfect cool toned brown color and it just blends like a dream. And I got my two favorite products from Refi which is the Brow Sculpt and the Lip Sculpt. The Brow Sculpt is a brow gel that helps give you that like soap brow kind of look but a lot more natural and the lip sculpt is this lip liner that is a two-in-one hold on i'll open it to show you this is the only lip liner that i've ever found that can literally last all night like i can literally have this on for six hours and it will not budge because it is double-sided so here is the liner and then when you open it up it has this like clear sealant that you put on top which literally makes it not move I normally use the shade Fawn for when I go out, but it's a little too dark for every day. So then last time I got the shade Taupe, but I still thought it was a little too light. So this time I got Rosewood, hoping that it's a good in-between. We shall see. I got another one of the Kosas Revealer Concealer. You guys know that I love this stuff. It is so good. It is the only concealer that does not crease on me. And all Kosas products don't make me break out because they're non-comedogenic. I also just realized that this ring light setup is doing me so dirty and is making my hands look so orange. Um... I don't have tan left on my face right now because I just scrubbed it off, but my hands do not look like this in person. Just ignore it. I'm so excited for this. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks, and I love to get the sets around the holidays because that's how you get to try all the different flavors, scents. It's not a scent. Like, it's a flavor, but you're not eating it. So is it a scent? I don't know. We have to smell these. So you get a ton of the mini ones. Right now, I've actually been using my mini one from last year, which is the pumpkin spice one. This set has berry, gummy bear, mango, mint cocoa, and sweet candy. But I've not tried mango. I actually hate mangoes, so. This just smells like citrusy and fruity, not really like mango, thank God. Here's mint chocolate chip. This I'm so excited for. I love mint. I literally want to eat it. It smells like a peppermint patty. I also just love buying the gift sets for myself because I really feel like it is Christmas and I'm buying myself a gift. More Glow Recipe. This is the toner that I use. Again, I've posted about this, but this is what saved my cystic acne. I was going to every dermatologist, trying every prescription cream that they were giving me. Nothing was working. I tried this and knock on wood, I have not had acne ever since. I use this twice a day, every single day, and I will for the rest of my life. This is the last restock product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This is the best pressed powder in the world. It literally makes you look airbrushed. It is expensive, but it honestly lasts a really long time. I bought mine this time last year during this for sale, and I'm first running out now and needed the restock. The rest is not restocks. These are new products that I wanted to try. I limited myself to trying only one new makeup product. I was like, you don't need it. But it's Patrick Ta. I had to try it. I tried a Patrick Ta lip gloss in one of those Sephora favorites sets and I loved it. So now I want to try new products from him. It's supposed to be a cream and powder bronzer duo. And holy shit, this packaging is so thick and sturdy. I feel like I'm holding a gold brick. Here she is. I love like cool toned bronzing shades. So this really intrigued me so excited to try this or anyone asks this is the major sculpt palette and i got it in the shade she sculpted medium lastly i needed more shampoo and conditioner i love the verb ghost oil so my hairdresser told me to get the shampoo <gasps> no it's busted open both of them 
Oh my God, I'm literally gonna email Sephora right now. This is everything I got. These are my recommendations. Again, all this was restocks except the shampoo and conditioner, which I'm gonna have to get situated and the Patrick Ta. So I highly recommend picking up these products while they're on sale if you can. These are my favorite things in the entire world. What are you guys getting from the Sephora sale? I wanna know. I'm texting everyone I know about this. I just love hearing everyone's recommendations and what they're buying. I could talk about this stuff all day. So tell me what you're getting. I wanna know. It's Sephora haul time. I got the big bag, so you know it's gonna be a good haul. First thing is this beautiful hourglass ambient palette. I got the jellyfish. Let's just open her up. Oh, oh my god, she's beautiful. Ah, oh, look at those shades. Next, I got the Say Super Loy Gel Duo. I got this um, for a giveaway that I'm gonna do when I hit 5K, so look out for that. And then I'm very excited about this. I decided to treat myself. I was gonna put this on my Christmas list, but then I was like, no one's gonna buy me $55 lippies, so I'm gonna do it for myself. These are in the shades Haze and Crave. I'm really excited to use these. I've been wanting the Hourglass Phantom Glossy Balm forever, and so I cannot wait to use it. Next, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray Duo. I love the setting spray, and I'm running on mine, so I thought, let's just get the Duo. And then I got a restock favorite sunscreen, the Innisfree sunscreens. I actually stole these from my sister, but you know, say la vie. Um, I really love Thanks. these sunscreens. They look so good, pair really well under makeup. Else. Oh, I got this Sephora's foundation brush. I might return this and just get the full size. I was deciding between some other foundation brushes, but then I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna get this one because the people recommended it. So I think I'm just gonna trade this in for a full size. And then I also got this Kosas Cloud Set setting powder. So originally I had posted like, oh, I'm gonna get the Huda Beauty powder. And then people were saying like, oh, if you want something to like maintain the glow, get the Charlotte Tilbury one. So it's gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury one. And then I saw that the Charlotte Tilbury one has like really bad ingredients for your skin. Then this was like the clean alternative. So I decided to get this one and I was gonna get a mini, but they didn't have my shade in the mini. So I got the full size. I hope this works because I really need a powder. Last thing is this Merit blush. I have been dying for a Merit blush for like two years and I finally bit the bullet. This is in the shade Opre. It's like a very pretty berry color. And I also want the mini uh, Merit blush set and I'm hoping I get it for Christmas. That was my haul. There will definitely be two other parts. There were some things that were not in stock. Because the app was down, I could not place my order online. So I had to go in store and get everything, but there's still more coming up. So, bye. What have I done? I did some damage. I placed an online order too, but this is just in stores. I got one, two, three fragrances. First up is Clean Reserve Skin. This one, Jimmy Choo, I Want You. Smells like you just open up a fresh bottle of rosé. It smells so good. This is gonna be my go-to night out scent. I am obsessed. Okay, when I say obsessed, I mean obsessed with these seven virtues fragrances. They smell so good. Vanilla Woods, something about the vanilla, the sugar, all of that in this that I'm just like, I need to have it, especially this time of year. I did pick up this set from LYS. They came with three cream blushes. You all know that I'm a sucker for cream blushes. Picked up another LYS product. This is their brightening concealer. I've never tried it before, so I really wanted to try it. This right here is like my favorite full, full, full coverage foundation. So I always wear the matte. It's like my go-to, but I really wanted the glowy version from Dior and I'm wearing it today. Really, really love how this looks. I picked up the Fenty Skin Lip Mask Duo. If you have not tried the lip mask, what are you doing? I picked up this one size set. You get two full size products and I also got two lip liners from Sephora Collection. You TikTok girlies, you got me. You got me with this one. I got my first Candy Glaze shade 15 and it's what I'm wearing today. So pretty. These are the truth, okay? If you don't like to pick your bumps, get this, it, it's a lifesaver. Also got the House Labs Concealer Brush. This brush, I used it today for the first time and this brush is such a game changer. I think this is gonna be my new favorite concealer brush because the way that this blended out everything, I see why I had to go to multiple stores just to get my hands on this. Lastly, I got a bunch of Lily Lashes. They were on sale for $8, plus I got 30% off on top of that because it's like a Sephora collection kind of product or a Sephora collection exclusive. I got so many, like I'm stocked with different ones. I have diamonds, this one is Lux. I'm wearing these today and they also have Mykonos Light. But y'all, that's my Sephora haul. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush.
I bought all these Sephora holiday gift sets, so you don't have to. We're gonna hop into every single one, what they come with, how much they are, if it's worth the price. I know currently right now the Sephora VIB sale is going on. I'm a Rouge member, so I get 20% off my entire purchase, as well as the entire Sephora collection is 30% off right now. I'm gonna do a separate video on my Sephora VIB sale haul and my recommendations, products I think are not quite worth it. So if you're interested in that, be sure you're following me. But I did pick up pretty much every holiday Sephora gift set that I could find at my local store. Um, there's a few exceptions. There's a few things online that I just couldn't get, but I pretty much bought like every set that I could find. I know this is a big purchase. I do wait all year long to shop the Sephora sale with the 20% off because the luxury prices, it really does make a difference to get that percentage off. Um, and then this is when I buy all of my Christmas presents. So my mom, all my sisters, all my friends do not watch this because the reason I got so many, I'm gonna do a giveaway for you guys and then these are all for like my sisters and they're all gonna be Christmas presents. So if you've been wondering what is inside each kit and if it's worth it, let's hop into them all. Okay, so I'm not a fan of the videos where you have to do a part two, but I did get so many sets that if I can only fit half of them in right now, go to part two after this and I will review the rest. So the first one I picked up was the Say Glowy Super Gel Duo. This was only $24 and you do get two. You get a lighter one and then you also get this like golden one. I believe if you purchase them on their own, they're about 20 bucks just for one. So I thought this would be a good deal. I think I'm gonna use this as like a stocking stuffer for my sisters. The consistency is super thin. It reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Highlight and Glow Wands. For me, those make me look a little bit too like liquidy and I like more of a matte look. So those are not for me. I'm gonna be giving those away. But for 24 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. I also thought this one was an amazing deal. This is the Fenty kit. You get the Glossy Volume 6.0 Gloss Bomb Cream, which is the matte one right here. You get the Gloss Bomb, which this one has a lot of like shimmer and glitter in there. I love this one for a topper. So pretty, especially with like a nude look like this to pop it on top. And then you get a completely clear gloss. I love these gloss bombs. They're totally worth it. If I'm not mistaken, each gloss bomb themselves is about 20 bucks. So for this to only be $32 and you get all three is an amazing deal. And I love that they're neutral colors. They didn't put in like a purple gloss or something random that you could never wear. All three of these are like everyday wear colors, which I find is really nice. So I might give that one away. I might also keep that one because I love all of those. Next, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Secrets Kit. So you get the highlighter wand, a full-size lipstick, lip liner, and a gloss. Everything is mini-sized in here except for the lipstick. I actually didn't know that. The lipstick is the only thing that is full-size. The other three are minis. I think this was about 40 bucks. I'm debating returning this one, actually, because I tried out the highlighter ones. Everyone makes them look so good on TikTok. They, like, dot them up here, blend them in with their finger, and they have, like, a really pretty glow. For me, they just look super, like, liquidy and wet and, like, messy. It's kind of like those drunk elephant, like, dark bronzing drops that people put on before their foundation. When I put those on, my face just looks brown and muddy. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but those these don't really look good on me. So I'm either gonna give this as a gift set or I might actually return it, but I wanted to pick it up to at least do a little review for you guys. And then this one is 100% worth the price. So usually the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips are what, like 18 bucks a piece for one? You get For $40 in here, you get four. So they're $10 each. That is legit drugstore pricing and these are luxury high-end products. These will give you such, they don't give you the tingling feeling, but they give you the plumpy, glossy look of like having lip injections. So like this one here is the Too Faced Lip Injection Master Plump. This one's gonna give you the tingly feeling. You're gonna feel like it's plumping from within. You don't get that feeling with this, but you get the look of like glossy, juicy, plumped up lips, which I really like. So for 40 bucks, if you have friends and family or like a daughter you're doing a stocking for, for each of these to only be $10, I think this is one of the best gift sets that they offer this year for the price. It's an amazing value. So next up, I got these for my sisters. So if you're one of my sisters, stop watching because this is one of your Christmas presents, but it's the Sol de Janeiro little pink set. I like that it came with a makeup bag. These were 30 bucks. So it comes out to $10 for each product, which I think is really good. You have the Bum Bum Cream, the fragrance, and then the body wash. I've had the body wash in the yellow scent before. I believe it's like coconut or vanilla bean or something. And it's, it was like a shower wash. Really liked it, very clean and like left me smelling like very fresh. I have not tried the pink set, so I don't even know what this smells like, but I just thought it was a great deal. And you could reuse the makeup bag in your car for extra makeup, tampons, like a little daily makeup kit. And I just thought it was really cute. A lot of these I bought specifically for the packaging because I think the holiday packaging when it comes with like little makeup bags and stuff that you can reuse is really nice. So like that one, uh, 30 bucks for that one. This one's $34 and you get four of the different sprays. So we have Brazilian Crush Cheriosa in three different fragrances, I guess. 
and then you have the original Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance fragrance. I have not tried any of these, but again, I thought the packaging was so cute. This would just be really cute with like a little bow under the tree. I love anything colorful. A lot of the packaging on these really just got me for 34 bucks. If you obviously have four less than $10 for each one, I thought was really great. I know this one has been sold out a lot online since the VIB sale, but I was lucky enough to find it in my store. Um, so I'm just going to do one more and then I'm going to hop into, I'm going to do a part two for the rest. This one was the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Kit. So this was 34 bucks, I believe, and you get two. I do have the bigger one somewhere. I think it's back there. Um, personally, I prefer this one. I prefer the one size. It's more of like a hairspray feel. This one is more of a watery liquid feel. And I don't like feeling like I'm putting liquid water like on my skin once I've already spent so much time on my makeup. I personally like the hairspray vibe more, but I'm almost out of this one. Um, and then this one, the minute it goes back in stock on one size and Sephora, it constantly sells out. So I wanted to give this one a try. I'll probably keep one, maybe give the other one to my mom. Um, maybe it will grow on me if my makeup looks really great by the end of the day. All I really care about is the results of it, but I just know that for me personally, like the feeling of the wet, like liquidy spray after I've already spent like an hour on my makeup is not my favorite. But if you do already love this product, this is actually a really good deal, 34 bucks for two. Hopefully you guys can find this one in store. Also, if you have stuff in your Sephora cart just waiting, try to rush and get it before November 6th because the VIB sale, I believe, does end on November 6th. So we're gonna hop into the rest of the bag in part two. So give this video a like and go to part two. Every single Sephora holiday kit, so you don't have to. This is part two going over every single products kit what it comes with, if the value is worth it, and the exact price. Remember that the current Sephora sale for VIB members is currently going. Today is October 29th. It goes up until November 6th. You do get 30% off all Sephora collection, and then you get 20% off the rest of the store if you are a VIB Rouge member. To be a Rouge member, you have to spend $1,000 within a calendar year. Unfortunately, I did. Really none of my business. Don't want to talk about it. Also, this sounds like sponsored as fuck. It's not. I bought all this myself. I'm not working with Sephora. Wish I was. I just reviewed all of these sets in part one, so go back to my page if you want to see me review these ones. Okay, so moving right along, we have the Sephora Favorites Hair Styling Kit. $29 for six different products. I thought this was an amazing deal, especially because luxury hair care can be so pricey and everyone has such different types of hair. Some people really need hydrating, some people want the shine, some people have curly hair. So to really be able to try out a decent size before you commit to buying the full size, I find is really nice. These are like what I would call medium size products. They're not quite as small as like a mini or a travel size, but they're not a full size. So you get six different products. We have Bumble and Bumble, Whey, Moroccan Oil, Amica, Opalex, and the Wow Dream Coat, which is like a TikTok favorite. Um, I know Kim's hairstylist, Chris, uses it a lot to give like a super shiny final coat after you curl or straighten your hair. So I'm excited for the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray and then the Whey Leave-In Conditioner. This one, the original size, is like 60 bucks. It's supposed to just leave your hair super hydrated. So this would be great if you have sisters or friends and can kind of pop one of each into like their stockings for 29 bucks. And I really like the pink packaging. So I would say this one is definitely worth it. I got two different kits from Tarte. If you've been following my YouTube channel from like years ago, I used to buy every single Tarte holiday blush kit every single year, even though I didn't need that many blushes. It was more so because I was like collecting them. They would have their Amazonian clay circular blushes with like the little rainforest logo in there. Every holiday season, they'd have like a stackable one, which came with a bunch. They didn't have that this year, or at least my store doesn't have it. But what they did have is they basically put them in like rectangular packaging this year. It's 42 bucks for three different palettes. So these are all blush palettes. They come with one blush, one contour, one highlight. I bought two of them, so I've already opened the other ones. This is what they look like out of the packaging. You do get a really, really nice big mirror. I don't want to blind you guys right now, but it's a really good size. And then you get a contour, a blush, and a highlight, which I really like. So I thought, again, these would be good to open this and then kind of give one of them each to my sisters. My mom you can kind of split them up for the price. So 42 bucks for that. Usually for just one Tarte blush, it's $30. So that one I would say is one of the ones that packs the most product in there for the best deal. Then I also got this one, it's $54, and you get four different Tarte eyeshadow palettes. So again, if you have four different friends or you're doing a white elephant or a gift exchange, you just give everyone one palette for 54 bucks, evens out to like, what is that? I'm not very good at math. None of my business, <laughs> like 14 bucks a palette or something. But I thought that was really good. These are super cute. Tarte always has cute, colorful packaging. Then I got the Glow Recipe Smooth Skin Dreams Kit. It was 24 bucks. You get a 
Glow Recipe Salicylic Serum and a Pore Smoothing Blur Drops. Have not tried either of these. I did try their um, Hyaluronic Cream, I think, in like the pink tub. It was like 40 bucks, but that really didn't do much for me. And I've heard people say Glow Recipe breaks them out. So I am going to use it with nothing else on my face, only this product and um, just see if there's any differences in my skin to kind of narrow down if anything is irritating my skin. But for 24 bucks, again, super cute stocking stuffer. If Glow Recipe works well with your skin and you were already gonna buy the full size anyways, 24 bucks is amazing. And then I got the Laneige kit, $22. You have a sleeping mask and you also have a glowy bomb. I really like this because you can just put it in the car. I actually just got a new car, so I'm making a little like emergency or like a little makeup kit with some of my favorites. So I wanted to buy doubles of products that I love and I love this lip balm right here. This one's also really good as well, the sleeping mask. So for $22, again, amazing deal, but not too expensive. And both of these kits actually came with their own little makeup bags, which I find is really nice. Having something that's like multi-purpose, you feel like you're not only spending the money for the product, but you get a little like makeup bag that can kind of last you forever. So I got the Milk Kit, the Hydro Grip Primer, and then you have the Setting Spray as well. I love the primer. Don't know if I like the Setting Spray, I haven't tried it, but if you want a dupe of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, try this one. This is the Elf Power Grip. Comes in green and in pink. This one is the niacinamide one, so this one's pink, but that was that's like the drugstore version of it. What is my hair doing today? I know the back of my hair is really like none of my business, but I've I feel like bald back here. Okay, back to business. Um, but yeah, super cute. I think this one was like 35 bucks. And then everyone on TikTok has been talking about the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. Uh, this was only $30. Again, you get a little makeup bag and then you get three different products in there. I need to start taking my skincare so much more seriously. Um, I know it looks like I have good skin on camera because I feel like I've finally perfected like my makeup routine and I've gotten pretty good at my makeup. But underneath this makeup, your girl has some wrinkles, I have some pores. I rarely ever wear sunscreen. I hate to admit that, but I need to wear sunscreen more. So I really wanted to try this. Again, it got me with the really cute yellow packaging. Also comes with a little bag, $30 for this one. I feel like these videos are so, so long, but I do not want to do a part three. I need to just like get through this. So there's a Fenty Skin Kit. You get the cleanser, fat water, and butter drops. Have not tried either of these. I just know that um, I saw an interview with Rihanna that she was working with like the top skincare professionals to really make her skincare line just really good and high quality. So have not tried any of these. Excited to try. I will keep you guys updated. That's a cute little kit for like a stocking stuffer as well. This one was a little more expensive. I know this was in the $40 range, but you get the Tula brightening drops, exfoliating sugar scrub, and 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream, as well as the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I have tried the face cleanser. I'm obsessed with Tula in itself as a brand. I use their little stick. It comes in like this teal packaging. It looks like a chapstick. You take the top off, twist it up, and it's a makeup melt like stick. So I put it around my eyes right when I come home and it takes off like all my lash glue, black eyeliner. It's amazing. If there's one product or brand that I could work with, drugstore brand, it would be Milani. I wear their foundation and stuff every single day. I've spent my entire life savings on them and Tula. Tula would be like the high-end skincare brand that I would love to work with. I own so many Tula products. I think they're just amazing, very, very good for the price. Um, randomly, I haven't actually, it's like odd that I haven't tried these three because I own like all their rice water cleansers and stuff. And I've tried this cleanser and I really like it. But these other three little guys I have not tried yet. So I wanted to pick them up while they were on the good deal. Because if you get everything before November 6th, you're basically getting all the holiday kits for the good deal. Like they're already bundled up in the kit for a pretty good deal. Plus you're getting the 20% off your entire purchase. So I kind of feel like now is the time of the year to just like knock everything out. And then I got the Sephora favorites, Lash To Go. 25 bucks, you get to try out four different mascaras. They're more of like a travel size. So then you can decide which one is your favorite and you can go back and buy the full size. Well, you see what happened is it has now been 10 minutes. This video is about to end because your girl is out of time, but I still have four more holiday kits that I bought. If you want a part three, I guess let me know. I feel like that would be a little bit of overkill, but yeah, those are all the holiday sets and kits that I bought. Stay tuned on my TikTok. I have three holiday giveaways coming up for you guys. So make sure you are following my TikTok page here and like or bookmark this video so that TikTok will know to put me back in your algorithm so you can join my holiday giveaway. Hi guys, so we're gonna be doing our Sephora sale haul. Um, I got a lot of stuff, but honestly, I make the excuse and say it's for work, so it's fine. I put a lot of wrap in here. Okay. 
first off, I got the Mac Give Me Some Mineralized Skin Finish, the my favorite bronzer. Um, these I also got the mini. I think they're all yeah, mini size, but I wanted to try all the other colors because I love the the finish and the um the texture of them, and they just sit on like the lips really nicely. I got um, the Sephora Sweet Pea Blush. Um, it was on sale, so and I think it was like thirty percent off for Sephora items. My favorites. I love this. Um, got that. Um, I also got Sephora English Rose Blush, and then I got which one's this one? Oh, the Tiger Lily Blush. I really want to try this one. I feel like it would be really pretty. Um, I then got the Sephora just waterproof liquid liner. I heard good things about it, so I just got that. Um, I just got the regular black gel liner for the waterline. I got two, so one for me and one for clients. Um, I got another mini foundation brush. Honestly, get these um, if you do makeup or even if like for yourself because it's literally the same thing and it's cheaper and it's like just tinier. And I kind of like it tiny because it's like easier to hold when you're like, you know, it's not so heavy. Um, oh, I got this. I'm excited to try this. It's um, the Makeup Forever um, Artist Color Pencil. It's like a value. It was like a value pack. But it has like um, three brown like nude lip liners and then a black and a white liner. So I feel like that was good and I think it was like a good price. Um, I got, what did I get? Oh, I got this um, Warm Auburn Brow Pencil um, just for like, I don't have um, like... Um, a brow pencil with clever clients that have orange hair so i feel like this would be really cute um and what's this guys i don't even know what i freaking ordered <laughs> oh wow yes i want to really i really want to try this so i'll do, probably do a video of me um using this palette it's the ethereal eyes palette and Ugh. hold on so this is what it looks like so cute love it i'm definitely gonna try to use that soon um what else did i get oh yeah i guess i got this perfume it's the kelly vanilla um number 28 and it, it's like a i love the freaking value packs as before because you actually save a bit money um this is like the i think it's a full size one i don't remember but also comes with um a travel spray which is nice to keep in your purse um i got smashbox photo finish primer this is really good um for a smooth base oh it's kind of open weird but i heard this is a really good um foundation hopefully it is my shade i think so i got this in 4w but it's the dior um the dior backstage I think I have this one, but I have it in the wrong shade because I got it from work like a really long time ago. Um, but yeah, this is what I want to try. I kind of already did my makeup, but I didn't know my first friggin' support package came, so I will use this soon. I went um, I went in store to try the color, and it's actually perfect. So I got this in 270 um, light medium neutral, which is what... Um, the shade finder said I was on the website, so and they're right. So, <laughs> um, what else did I get? Oh, I bought. Bro, I honestly this was in my cart, and I thought I took it out, but I guess I didn't. Which I'll probably just keep it anyways, cause like why not? But this is the Danessa Myricks, um, the Groundwork Defining Neutrals. I'm really excited to to try this, cause. Honestly, I haven't. I just saw it online and like I haven't really tried it out, but it seems like cool. Apparently, um, these are like pom like some of them are pomades and then that's like a powder. So the pomades like more of like a creamy, like a creamy texture. So we'll see how that goes. But the colors are beautiful, and honestly, I love anything Vanessa Myricks. I feel like she's like golden and she's she she knows what she's doing. Um, I think that's it. Oh, no. I lied. Oh, I also just got this. I thought I was out of my Hydro Grip Primer. So, I got another one plus the spray. But I realized I have, like, 
I still have half left, so. I'll just keep it. I just said I hate returning things. <laughs> but no, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep it. I might, I'm gonna try the Dior foundation and see if it's my, see if it's my shade. Um, and if I don't like it, I'll return it. But yeah, that's all I got. I feel like, oh, I also, I was supposed to get this um, with my um, support order too, but then I sold it online like literally so fast. So I picked it up in store. I got the Patrick Ta palette. Um, I just love neutrals. So I just use it today on my eyes. And it's really honestly great. Great, um, great formula, great finish, great colors. I didn't use the creams yet, but so pretty. So yeah, I got a couple like really good palettes for. Sorry, I low battery. Um, I feel like I got good palettes in terms of um, variety. They all kind of look the same, but they're different. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I also got like a brow whiz, but it's over there. Thanks for watching the haul. I feel like. So much better. Thanks for watching my haul, guys. Um, stay tuned for more makeup videos because I miss doing makeup and I really want to start doing my makeup. So stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.